I teach ninth grade earth science in Helena, Montana, and this is one of my students' favorite activities. It's a great one for helping them understand how temperature and salinity affect the density of water. With this background, they can begin to understand density-driven ocean currents. To find out where to get the materials and to read notes and suggestions, select Show Support File when you're finished viewing the video. Start with 800 mils of room temperature water, then prepare about 40 mils of salty water, add a couple drops of yellow, and then stir. Make sure that the salt dissolves and then carefully pour the water in the original box as shown here. It's also important that you view this from, from eye level so you can see what's happening. As you can see the room temperature salty water is more dense than the original water so it sinks to the bottom and forms a layer at the bottom. Next prepare about 40 mils of cold water Add a couple drops of blue and stir. There's no salt. And again, pour is shown here. And before the students do that, this, they will be making a prediction as to what they think will happen. This time, the, uh, the cold water with no salt is not quite as dense as the room temperature salty water, so it positions itself right above that layer of yellow water and beneath the original room temperature water which has no salt in it either. Next prepare 40 mils of very hot tap water. Add a couple drops of red food coloring make a prediction and then pour and this time the hot water which is red is the least dense so it floats on top of all the others 